Hey YouTube, Jose with Cologne, I'm back with another fragrance review. Today I'm going to be bringing you a quick review of a new acquisition that I've received and that's Parfums de Marley Have Done. So taking a quick closer look at the box and bottle for Parfums de Marley Have Done. Got a nice, very uh, sturdy box here. Got a, like, a glossy finish on the top. Almost feels kind of cushioned. Very similar to the homage boxes, the new, this is the newer boxes. Um, the older Parfums de Marley ones, they just kind of open on the top like a regular box. This one has that like felt lining on the inside. Comes with this little Parfums de Marley card on the inside. And the bottle just sets in there just like that. And just like your homage box, that's how the uh, box for this one works. The bottle itself, nice heavy glass with a uh, like a black uh, shiny lacquer on top got a gold cap got a, it, it's on there really tight as you can see how to work really hard to get that off there it's got a very good sprayer um, overall a very nice bottle and uh, box from Parfums de Marley Hop Done so getting into the cologne itself the cologne Hop Done was released in 2013 the notes on this one, the top notes are saffron and alabinum. The middle notes are apple, woody notes, and rose. And the base notes are ambergris, caramel, and myrrh. Basically, what I get when I spray have done on myself. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the main player in, these, in this cologne are, there's two notes that stand out the most from beginning to end. It's gonna be the apple and the caramel. So think candied apples as far as the uh, the main two players in this cologne. So I initially I get that sweet appley smell as well as a almost incense type smell in the beginning. The incense backs off. That sweet caramel comes to the front. I almost feel like you can get some. Uh, like cinnamon, cinnamony note in there because I do get a little bit of spiciness. Um, can almost resemble an apple pie if you want a, another food visual to compare this to. But just get a sweet, appley, caramelly note. Um, slight incense smell that you get in the beginning there. Dries down, you get a slight woodiness in the background. But overall, your main players in this cologne is gonna be apples and caramel it just smells very not overly decadent but it smells definitely gourmandish um, if you're a fan of gourmandish colognes then this is definitely one you're gonna love i feel like this is definitely one that leans more towards the cooler weather i'd say fall and winter um, you may be able to pull this off on a cool spring night but it definitely more for your fall and winter um, it is it, it is a as far as performance and longevity goes um, it's not a beast mode cologne you are gonna get nice projection out of it for the first two to three hours and then you're just gonna get a nice strong skin scent for another two or three hours after that and then it's gonna be really close to the skin for another to where you're just barely gonna be able to smell it for another two to three hours. Total scent life from beginning to where you can't smell it anymore, to me, was about eight hours. Um, I've only had this cologne for about a week um, and I've only actually done one full wearing on it. So I need to do more testing to get to know exactly what kind of performance I, I'm gonna get out of it. But overall, it's got I'd say a slightly above average performance out of have done as far as when you would wear it I mean since it isn't a beast mode cologne I feel like it's not you probably could pull this cologne off for work um, but I feel like it's more of a going out scent um, whether you're going out to hang out with friends casually or dressing up um, that would be my preferred occasion for this cologne. 
but you could easily work because it's not it you know especially after that two or three hour mark you just got a nice uh, scent bubble around you it's not um, it's not gonna be something that's gonna be choking people out or anything like that but you could wear this to work if you wanted preferably for me I'd wear this on a night out um, overall it's got a great scent I really do enjoy this cologne um, not gonna get much wearings out of it coming recently because obviously we're about to jump into the summer here real soon so I'm probably gonna have to put this on the shelf for a little while and wait towards the uh, the fall to get a little more wearings out of this one but great cologne nice bottle obviously it's a niche cologne it's on uh, it's on the higher price range but you can get a sample of this um, I wouldn't recommend depending on on what kind of colognes you like get a sample first just to make sure you like it but to me definitely a great cologne um, and I would definitely recommend picking this one up or at least getting your nose on it so that's Parfums de Marley have done <laughs>